Okay, so let's talk about USB audio devices. Over here, these are the most commonly used devices today. So the very first device you see here is the Stereo Andrea. What I want you to notice is that the old model Stereo Andrea had this big round thing on the cord, whereas the newer model does not. Sometimes they are seen as different devices if you have an old one and a new one, meaning that Windows recognizes them differently with a different name. So it's important that you know, do you have the newer model or the older model? Right to the right of that is the Andrea Pure Audio. I wanted you to see the difference between the old Pure Audio and the new. So the old Pure Audio actually says Pure Audio on the front, whereas the newer one actually has this A with a circle, an open circle. And I, I think they both have lights. Um, I think they both have lights. Like one has a light here and one has a light here. So you'll notice also that um, on every image, I also put the date, the driver date, the device driver date. That's going to matter in a little bit. I'm going to show you how we go and check device drivers for these and um, show you where you can see what the device driver is for each one. Then over to the right, um, you'll see the two Sound Blaster devices. The one at the top is the Sound Blaster Play 3. The one at the bottom is the Sound Blaster X5 Go Pro. These are both still used. I use them both. I use the Play as my voice track and the X5 Go Pro as my voice backup track. Now we're coming around the bottom and you'll see another Pure Audio device, but this one is different than the Pure Audio SA. This is the Pure Audio MA, and it is a mono device with only one hole, whereas the Pure Audio SAs have two holes, a pink hole and a green hole. And then the last device I'm showing here is the Buddy 7G which a few people use. It's not my favorite of these devices, but it works.